Shark Lab researchers at Cal State Long Beach say they have found two of the largest white shark nurseries right off the coast of San Diego. The sharks, more commonly known as great whites, are seeing a comeback in numbers after years of decline driven by overfishing and a dwindling food source. Our Sean Stiles has more in this Earth 8 report. The Pacific Ocean here in Southern California is teeming with sea life and Cal State Long Beach Shark Lab has a particular interest in the white shark. There are seven nurseries in the Southern California area and the two largest are right here in San Diego. From Point Conception to Northern Baja, California, there are dozens of nurseries for baby white sharks. The largest that we've had for a while has been up off Santa Barbara and that's the location where we saw 40 in one day at one beach. It's always good to stay in a group. Dr. Chris Lowell is a professor at Cal State Long Beach and has been the director of Shark Lab since 1998. He says San Diego has two of the largest nurseries of juvenile white sharks. Kind of extends from Del Mar to about La Jolla. And then those sharks have been there for about the last three years. And what we're noticing is that some of the juveniles return their second and third year, and they're growing about a foot a year. White sharks became protected in 1994 as their numbers declined severely for two reasons. One, overfishing, and the other, their primary food, seals, was overhunted until the early 1900s. They didn't receive federal protection until the 70s. So, but since then, marine mammals have recovered better than we could have imagined. So I think the of what we're seeing is basically conservation success working. The white shark population has lagged behind because the sexual maturity of females can take up to 35 years. Dr. Lowell says there's signs of recovery. With the main food source in plentiful supply, the numbers of the white sharks are rebounding. This isn't just a matter of people seeing them more. There's actually more to see. So those pilots who have been flying over California for decades said they have never seen more sharks in coastal waters than they have in the last 15. The coastal waters are where the juvenile live. The adults tend to stay offshore in the islands summer into winter, with the females coming in to give birth in the spring. So the question is, how important are those habitats to those sharks? How do they choose one of these nursery sites? What are they getting from it? And then, of course, how do they interact with people and when are they going to leave? These are just some of the questions Shark Lab is working on. But probably the biggest for us who use the ocean is how they interact with humans. Patrick did the study found was that every single day, juvenile white sharks were swimming right by people in the water, whether they were surfers, swimmers, stand up paddle boarders. White sharks were constantly near those people, even though those people didn't know the sharks were there. And yet, nobody was being bitten. Lowell says that's because their primary food source is stingray, which are in plentiful supply. The juvenile white sharks are feeding on things that are on the bottom. And most people that are at the beach are flotsam. They're things floating around the surface. The funding for Shark Lab research is set to run out in June. I'll put a link on our website with this story for more information. Lowell believes the nurseries show that conservation is working. I think what's really important that people remember that it, these animals coming back means we've been doing something right. But we also have to remember that we're guests in their home. The research on the white shark is an ongoing process, but the funding for Shark Lab, it's due to expire halfway through 2024. And if that happens, that research will stop and what they can learn about the white shark here in California will end. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.